Hi there, this is Ranjit and I have the Xiaomi Redmi 1S with me which is a very affordable Android phone by Xiaomi and it sells in India for just around uh, 6,000 rupees. That's just US $100 and it packs some very interesting specs and I'm going to show you the benchmark scores and also we'll test the USB OTG functionality on this device. And uh, to show you the specs, I'll just use the CPU Z application. And as you can see, it's clocked at 1.6 gigahertz. That's a quad core processor based on the Snapdragon 400 chipset. Regarding the GPU, it sports a Adreno 305 GPU. And uh, the screen sported is a 4.7 inch screen, which is a 720p HD screen. And I would say the viewing angles are also actually pretty good of the screen. But one thing is that the screen is on the slightly yellowish tint. Um, now coming to RAM, it has 1 gig of RAM. The internal storage is 8 gigs, but out of that you get about 4.7 GB of space available to you. Uh, you can also add a micro SD card to this device. This back cover opens. Actually, you can check out my unboxing video in which I showed you the same. And uh, the battery is also a user replaceable. It's a 2050 milliampere battery. And these are the sensors that are provided. And we also have the gyroscope. And it looks like Xiaomi has included all the important sensors that are needed. So that was for the config. I also ran the benchmark. So let me just quickly show you the scores now. And this is the quadrant score. Let me just zoom in and show you. We got a score of 10,260 on the quadrant, which is actually a pretty decent score. And uh, the total is 10,200. The CPU got a score of 41,059. Memory is 3,527. IO is 4,084. 2D graphics is 333. And 3D graphics is 2,298. So that was quadrant. I also ran the Antutu. And here we got a score of 19,000. 942 that's almost 20,000 and I would say compared to some of the other devices that are running on the Snapdragon 400 chipset uh, like this Moto G or even uh, if you uh, take uh, the new what do you say Samsung Galaxy S5 mini uh, those get a score of around uh, 18,500 to 19,000 so definitely a good score on Antutu also. I also ran the Geekbench and here on a single core we got a score of 439 and on multi core we got a score of 1499. So overall I would say in terms of benchmark also we got some very good scores and this is the Nina Mark score that we got that is 53.3 FPS. But one thing I did notice with this device is that uh, when the phone is stressed and you use it a lot it does tend to get a little bit warm over here. Now let's also look if USB OTG is supported on this device. Uh, this is a Sandus USB on the go uh, device and I'll just plug it in. And the good thing is that USB uh, OTG is uh, provided out of the box. As you can see it detects and in fact you don't have to install any third party software to make it work. Because Xiaomi does give you a file explorer that's built in and you can just use that. And as you can see now from this drop down you can just select for example, we'll just select our SD card. Uh, that's the USB storage, sorry. And uh, these are the this files that are residing on this. And from here, directly you can play the files. For example, let me just play up back this one. This is a 1080p video. And you can select from which player you want. For example, let's just try MX player. And as you can see, this is a 1080p video. And it plays without any issues. You can just scrub around also. And it's pretty quick. Let me also show you one more video. That's again a 1080p video. And we'll again use the MX player. And as you can see, this one also works without any issues. So you can just load up movies, uh, media, etc. and directly play it back. Uh, this device also has, uh, what do you say, uh, micro SD card slot. But uh, there is no option to move or install the apps directly on the micro SD card as of now. So that's it for now for this quick benchmark on this Redmi 1S. I'll also be posting a gaming review with this Redmi 1S very soon. So stay tuned to my channel. Thank you. This is Ranjit and I hope to see you in my next video.